Good morning. I'm a couple of miles south uh, east of uh, Cumber. I've come out to Lisbon and I've turned left and I've come out and I've found the Tully Kill Road and this is what I've been looking for here. It's Tully Kill Old Graveyard. There's uh, been a church on this site uh, from the 9th century, or maybe even earlier, who knows. Uh, the present church ruins up there at the top, you can just see them through the trees, um, date from the Middle Ages. And they were, that church was built to replace uh, Nandrum Abbey. And this churchyard, graveyard, cemetery, it's small, it's it's forgotten, it's hidden, and it's very picturesque on a sunny day, which today is not. Uh, apparently its oldest grave is 1669, and the date over the door, uh, apparently again, uh, is 1639. So let's go up and have a wee look. And we're uh, stepping back into time here, folks. And this is like something out of Wuthering Heights or something like that. There's a 1797. pathway here. You're saying to yourself, who were the people who came to this church? And what kind of lives did they lead? A bunch of snowdrops. never seen this kind of enclosure before in a graveyard. Here lies the body of George Robinson of Bally, and, and they, couldn't, they couldn't fit this in, Bally Bundon, who departed this life 6 April 1787. All of these uh, are knit carvings here, De decorative carvings. 
the body of John Jelly. And again, they ran out of space and they didn't have room for the filled word departed. And John Embe died in 1735. Again, the wee squirrels, wee decorative squirrels, squirrels there, not squirrels. Well, this is very decorative here. Hamilton Larmer erected this. It looks like a, a dove. Not sure what that is now, that's another dove. Wee decorations down on the up bottom here, but uh, this is this is nice here, and this one looks like I don't know 16, 1681 down in the corner there. Hard to tell. And also his son Robert, who died 1921, he's 28, interred South Brisbane. Cemetery, Queensland, and people from this locality it got to all parts of the globe. They emigrated, and and many of them never saw their their relatives ever again. No airplanes or internet in those days, or fast means of travel. Some of these graves uh, on slate, this one here, and they appear to, um, you know, be more legible over the years than the the sandstony ones. That tend to uh, wear away, and as I always say, folks, history on our doorsteps. Come and see this for yourself. Bring a picnic and spend a wee bit of time dandering round.